Hello everyone, welcome back again to Education Detail. Today, we are going to learn another part of a parts of speech interjection. In this lesson, we will learn what is an interjection. We will also learn the different types or roles of interjections with examples. I have already discussed each and every detail about a noun, pronoun, a verb, an adverb, an adjective, and a conjunction. If you haven't seen yet, go to the description. I have given a link for all these lessons. Sare grammar lessons ke links in the description. Mein de diya hai. Aap ja ke wahan se practice kar sakte ho. And also download the PDF given a link in the description of some question and answers related to this lesson. Try to do all without seeing the answers and check how many of them you have answered correctly. So now let's start with the definition of an interjection. An interjection is a word used to express a strong or sudden action and feeling. Remember, use an exclamation sign after the interjection. Simply, interjections show emotions, feeling or a sudden mood. Here, I have given a table where you can see some common interjections which we use most of the time. Hey, you who, ouch, bravo, oh, oops, hurrah, hello, what, wow, oh my god, etc. Look at the first example. Hey, nice to see you after a long time. Here, hey is an interjection and it is used for a warmth or happy feeling when we meet someone after a long time. Remember, interjections are not grammatically related to the rest of the sentence. Means, if I remove the interjection, hey, the sentence will also makes a complete sense and it will be grammatically correct. ज्यादातर हम interjections बोलते वक्त ही use करते हैं, लिखते वक्त बहुत कम use होते हैं. So, in the next example, good. Now, we can move on to the next topic. Here, good is an interjection and it is used to express a joy or happiness. Before we go to the types or roles of an interjection, we must have to know first that how an interjection looks like or how it can be. Most interjections we use are of one word like, hey, oops, what, etc. But some interjections are more than one word, like, oh my god, what a pity, I am shocked, etc. Let's look at the first example, ouch, I hit my knee again. Here, ouch is a one word interjection. But in second example, oh my god. I just won a lottery. The interjection here is of group of words. Oh my God. Let's move on to the types or roles on the basis of ways to express interjections in the sentence. Like when we express joy, expressing surprise, grief, approval, for greeting, for attention, when we forget something and expressing doubt. Let's see the words which we use in these type of interjections with some easy examples for better understand. First one, 
when we express a feeling of joy or happiness we use interjection words like wow hurray good yippee look at the examples wow the painting is so beautiful and yippee no school for next 3 days second one when we express a sense of surprise or shock about something we use these interjection words like oh what o a really oh my god etc example what you are not selected for that job another one oh my god i have never seen like this third when we express grief or pain in an irregular or unfortunate event we use these interjections like alas oh ouch etc example ouch i hurt my leg again another example a ah, austin has met with an accident fourth when we praise or congratulate someone for something happened we use interjections like well done bravo brilliant okay example well done finally you got the appointment letter next one brilliant you got four wickets in your last over fifth when we greet or call a person for some reason we use interjections like hey hello hi etc example hello i am david next one hey why you look so sad sixth when we want to draw an attention of the listener we use interjection words like listen look lo hush etc example listen don't use your phone here another one look who is there seven this is as simple as it looks we use interjection words like oh no oh shit when we forget something example oh shit i forgot to bring my mathematics book another one oh no this can't be possible eighth and last type of interjection when we doubt or hesitate about something we use these interjections like hmm er u example u i doubt whether c is in danger another one hmm i think i don't know the puzzle so in the end i have given some examples for you to identify the feeling or emotion that the interjections expressing okay let's know the answers in the first example what you spent 15000 rupees on shopping here an interjection express a surprise or shock about something in the second example alas we lost the match expresses grief or pain third one listen we have to reach before sunset listen is used to draw an attention in the last example hi 
are you new in the office it is used when we meet someone well that is the end of this lesson i hope you have understood everything about an interjection if you have doubt on any other grammar lessons visit my youtube channel click on the videos and practice all the grammar lessons clearly please make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of my latest videos thank you so much for joining me for this lesson i will see you very soon in my next lesson